the lubrication, science, uh, friction, wear of properties and that. So really anything that has more than uh, sort of two bodies with it sort of thing. So uh, a lubricant film in between it, uh, two mating surfaces, uh, anything that we can kind of look at. It's such a wide discipline. I think there's so many areas in it. You know, bio, tribology, the usual ones that people think of, uh, improving fuel economy, uh, the automotive industry, but also just, you know, important things like, you know, just brushing your teeth in the morning and that as well, you know, the abrasive wear and things like that. Um, and I think that, that part of that, getting that message across to people is, is our biggest challenge, actually. What tribology is, what areas it can be used in, and um, what it's being used in at the moment, and people don't realise that they're using it a lot as well. The, the real challenge for tribology, I think, as we go forward is to make sure that the testing and the modelling that's been done is appropriate to the right uh, mechanism that is occurring in the tribological contact. And then we can then use that in the design space for designers to then look at the new generation of aircraft components that actually have tribology built in from first principles rather than us putting a bandage on with a coating or adding a bit of grease here or doing doing something there. Tribology isn't going to go away. As you know, the, the mantra of engineering is, is faster, smaller, cheaper, uh, using less energy, and, and, and that's going to re require tribology at every single stage. So, so, so really, tribology is a subject that's going to stay with us. Specifically, I guess that uh, as scarce energy resources and making the most of our natural resources will require lower friction, better lubrication, longer lasting components, more sustainable use of components, and tribology is involved in every single stage of that.